Hey guys, this is Dao Too Fast here. In today's video, I will be reviewing this cordless butane soldering iron kit. This one I have here is made by a Taiwanese company called Renmei, model number HS-1115K. Let's have a quick look around the box. At the back, it tells you what the kit contains and some of the applications. Let's go ahead and unbox this and I'll show you what the unit looks like. Here we have the user manual. As you can see, this unit comes in this very nice carrying case. Here we have the butane soldering iron. And this is the cap. Also comes with solder. a sponge and a stand. It also comes with different tips and attachments. This here is a needle point tip. This is a soldering tip. This one here is an engraving tip. This is the double edge tip. Hot knife tip. And this attachment is a scoop so you can use it as a heat gun. So let's take a closer look at this cordless butane soldering iron. On this side we have the igniter. So if you push this forward, it will ignite the butane. On the other side we have the stand you can use to put this on the table. Below that we have the regulator. So right now there's the off position. If you push it down to the on, you can swing this over to the setting one two three four and when you're done you can put it back in the off position on this end we have the refill port for the butane gas and at the front this is where you can attach the different tips now this front part can also be removed if you simply want to use this as a torch to refill the butane in the tool, you will need to pick up a butane fuel canister like the one you see here of two, just to show you that they do come in different brands and they usually cost between four to five dollars each. So if you open up the cap, here is the refill tip. And what you want to do is place this right over the refill nozzle at the end of the tool. And you can see the fuel is inside now. Now before I show you the soldering function, I've gone ahead and removed the front hot blow head attachment. And now I can use this as a blow torch. And to ignite this, what you want to do is switch it from the off position over to say three or four, like this. And then push the igniter and then slowly release it. Now you see this blue flame. And when you use it as a blow torch, it can heat up to 1300 degrees Celsius. Next I'll reattach the hot blow head right here. Now in this setup you can use it to blow hot air. Now you can turn the regulator from the off position over to say position 2 or 3. Push the igniter and then slowly release it. And now you see the front part glowing orange and there's hot air coming out at the front right here. And in this configuration to blow hot air it can heat up to 500 degrees Celsius. Now if you attach this scoop attachment to the front, you can use this like a heat gun for heat shrinking wires. So you can place the wire with a heat shrink in the middle right here and heat it up. So now let's attach the solder tip onto the front. This butane soldering iron can heat that solder tip up to 400 degrees Celsius. I'm actually in the process of repairing this power supply that I have here and this is a perfect time for me to test out this new tool. So let's turn this on. So let's see if it's hot enough to melt the solder. And it is. 
So that took about maybe 20, 25 seconds, very fast. Here I'm going to remove this wire. Next I'm going to desolder this wire. Okay, next we'll try removing a component off a PC board. And this is a capacitor that I'll be removing. So let's go ahead and desolder this. And here it is. We have the capacitor. And now we'll try soldering it back on. As you can see, this tool works very well. It's very easy to operate. And the fact that it's portable, you can use this inside your home or outside your home with a very nice carrying case you can put this in your tool bag or tool box and take it with you wherever you need it. For myself I'll be mainly using this tool when I'm doing car electronic installation such as car stereo or car lighting products. When you're working on a vehicle the space might be very limited so you really need the portability of something like this to get the work done. This is definitely a great tool to have and again the model number on this is HS-1115K I picked this up at GearBest.com. If you want to check it out, I will put the link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.